Thanks for tuning in to Explaining Electronic Test Equipment, starring Dr. Dale. Our program is brought to you today by Hensley Technologies and sponsored in part by Agilent Technologies. Hope you enjoy the show. Welcome to the first episode of Explaining Electronic Test Equipment. I'm your host, Doug, and this is our electrical engineering expert, Dr. Dale. Today, we'll be learning about the basics of the electromagnetic spectrum using an Agilent Fieldbox N9912A handheld spectrum analyzer. Dr. Dale, can you explain to all our viewers back home what the electromagnetic spectrum is? I certainly can, Doug. The electromagnetic spectrum is much more important than people realize. There are invisible electromagnetic waves bouncing around all through the universe, and they come to you. the transmitter comes right to the antenna of the device you're looking at, and that's the way that you can tell what's the frequency of the device that you're looking for. Is that similar to radio waves? Exactly. For example, your favorite stations are all coming through the air at the same time all different frequencies everywhere and um, so are microwaves and cell phones and every kind of electronic device for example if you have your FM radio on your car it receives frequencies between 88 megahertz and 108 megahertz that's the frequency of the FM band exactly what is frequency excellent question let me tell you about frequency every electrical signal is represented by a voltage Take this battery, for example. If you measured from one end to the other, it would be one and a half volts. If you measured it five minutes from now, it would still be one and a half volts, wouldn't it? Of course it would. But frequency, on the other hand, the signal is continuously changing all the time. All, oh, yeah, so let, me show, let, let me show you on the whiteboard what's going on here. Actually, first I should show you what a sine wave is. If you remember from trigonometry, if you have a right triangle, of course that's a right triangle, mm -hmm. and an angle A, and the sides are x, y, and z, then the sine of the angle A is equal to y over z, or z equals sine. Wow. K-State, K-U game. K-State's gonna blow away K-U. mixed in together and we huh? need something what? to figure out how to sort uh, out all the frequencies. Dr. Dale. And where were we, Doug? Well, Dr. Dale, can you explain the electromagnetic spectrum on an Agilent Field Fox N9912A spectrum analyzer? Well, take a look at this, Doug. I'm going to connect the antenna here and you can see that there's no signal. It's, and when we connect the antenna, all of a sudden, all of the radio stations in the FM band pop up. Like 99.3 megahertz that we were talking about, that's the mix. My favorite, 9, 101.1, the box. Of course, I really like the science channel, but it can look at all of the frequency spectrum at the same time. Well, what else can a spectrum analyzer do? Well, a lot of things, Doug. Uh, electrical engineer can use it to measure all the frequencies of the spectrum. He can use it to measure interfering signals. Like noise from a hairdryer interfering with a signal? Exactly. Or an electrical engineer can use it for a lot of different things. Uh, for example, if the performance of a cellular phone doesn't meet the exact specifications, then the spectrum analyzer can show the modulation. Now, the modulation, that's something I didn't talk about. The modulation actually rides on top of the waveform that we were talking about, the sine wave. And all of this information... Well, that's all for today, folks. Stay tuned for our next episode where we explain the world of oscilloscopes.